Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. For several weeks now, we've been searching for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. At ngayon, nasa home stretch na po tayo talaga. And today, we choose the last weekly winner who will compete in our semifinals next week. And soon, a new K-Check champion will be revealed. Sa araw na to, apat na contestants galing UP Diliman ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Una ay si Rohan coming in with 230 points. He's a geography student who wishes he stuck to linguistics. His interests include Taylor Swift, K-pop, movies, cartoons, and plants vs. zombies. Bringing our weekly high score of 250 points is Markle, a geography major with a fondness for rap music. He spends his free time biking and the very scary bouldering. Earning 220 points this week is Faith, a fourth-year BS secondary education student who loves listening to pop rock and EDM. Her hobbies include walking and playing flag football. And with 175 points is Mika, a business administration student. She loves watching musical bootlegs and jamming out to Taylor Swift. She always watches anime and her current obsession is One Piece. So our four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of Suki experts. Of course, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. We also have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And of course, Professor Roman Lito To, Austria of the College of Fine Arts of UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points, but make sure you wait until you're acknowledged so that you can be given the proper credit if your answer is correct. Correct answers are 10 points each. So, with those rules in place, Let's begin. This is question number one of round one. What do you call the method of execution by strangulation using a metal wire or collar that is placed around the neck and pulled? Faith. Hanging. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is garote. Question number two. Number 10 in the list of most successful music artists for 2023 is the male singer who had the hit songs Chemical, Morning, Overdrive, and Enough is Enough for the Year. Who is this singer-rapper of Circles fame? Markle. Post Malone. Post Malone is the correct answer. K-check. Question number three. What word, when spelled, may mean an adult female pig? Or it can also mean to plant seeds on the ground. The answer is, well, when it's an adult female pig, it is a sow. And when it is to plant seeds on the ground, it is to sow. Question number four. What is the small and thin dancing firecracker that is ignited through friction and was named after a tribe in Africa? Hindi ba kayo naglaro ng watusi nung New Year nung kabataan ninyo? Question number five. Butterfly specialist Caleb Dressel won the most gold medals at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics with five. In what sport did he win those five gold medals? Best in swimming using the butterfly stroke. The correct answer is swimming. Question number six. La Trinidad Valley is known for its strawberry fields as well as its vegetables that it produces. In what province can you find 
la Trinidad. Faye. Benguet. Benguet is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What country is associated with the Kiwi? Rugby. Johan. New Zealand. It is associated with Kiwi, Rugby, the Maori people, and the Lord of the Rings. New Zealand is the correct answer. Question number eight. Sapporo hosted the 1972 Winter Games while Nagano was the host of the 1998 Winter Games. The Winter Olympic Games of 1972 and 1998 were held in what country? Japan. Japan, Japan is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. What Filipino band included members Rico Blanco? Faye. River Maya. It included members Rico Blanco and vocalist Bambu Manyalak and became famous for the songs Ulan and Kisap Mata. The correct answer is River Maya, k -check. Question number 10 in mental math. 93 is one third of what number? Mika. 31. Ay. Rohan. 289. Incorrect. Markle and Faith have a chance to steal. Faith. 279. 279 is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. Which explorer from Genoa, Italy became famous for reaching the islands in the Americas in 1492? Rohan? Christopher Colombo. Christopher Columbus is the correct answer. K, check. Last question for this round. What military rank below general has a name that sounds like a grain of corn? Rohan? Colonel. Colonel is the correct answer. K, check. And that's it for our first round. After that round, we have Faith in the lead with 40 points, followed by Rohan with 30, Markle with 10, and Mika with a lot of catching up to do. But when we return, our contestants will have to deal with our second round of questions. Dito lang po sa K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Isang points recap bago tayo sumabak sa ating round 2. We have Faith with 40 points, Rohan with 30, Markle with 10 points, Mika with some catching up to do. And now, as threatened, round 2. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize because you know very well. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Let's begin question number one, round two. What relatively new dictionary word is defined to be a situation when the price of a product... I'm Mika? <laughs> Situationship. The answer is incorrect. What relatively new dictionary word is defined to be a situation when the price of a product stays the same but its size gets smaller? Rohan. Shrinkflation. Shrinkflation. At yan ang ginagamit natin sa ating pandesal. The answer is correct. K check. Question number two. In the 1831 novel and the 1996 film, what is the name of the hunchback of Notre Dame? Rohan. Asmodeus. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is Quasimodo. Question number three. Which Norwegian chess grandmaster is a five-time world chess champion? Rohan? Charles Magnus. Incorrect. Markle? Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen is the correct answer. K check. Magnus Carlsen is a five-time world chess champion and seven-time world blitz chess champion. Question number four. When talking about babies' weights, 
How many ounces are there in one pound? There are 16 ounces in one pound. Question number five. What is the name of a long, loose robe with wide sleeves and tied with a sash, originally worn as a formal garment in Japan, and now used elsewhere as a robe? Rohan. Kimono. Kimono is the correct answer. Kate Chet. Question number six. The best-selling car model of all time has a name that is the same as a part of a flower. What is this very popular Toyota car model? Marco. Toyota Corolla. Corolla is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. Which seven foot three Filipino basketball player? Marco. Kai Soto. Kai Soto is a seven foot three Filipino basketball player who sees action for the Yokohama B Corsairs of the Japanese B League. The answer is correct, K. Chen. Question number eight. What political party was founded in 1946 by Manuel Rojas from the Nationalista Party and remains the second oldest active political party in the Philippines? Mika. Liberal Party. Liberal Party is the correct answer, K. Chen. In math again, this time, what trigonometric function is equal to the ratio of the cosine of an angle to its sine? The correct answer is cotangent. Question number 10. Which former member of One Direction won the Album of the Year Award at the 2023 Grammy Awards. Marco. Harry Styles. Harry Styles is the correct answer. K. Check. Question number 11. In Science Now, the basic structural component of plant cell walls, this complex carbohydrate, is the most abundant of all. Rohan. Cellulose. Cellulose is the complex carbohydrate most abundant of all naturally occurring organic compounds, which is non-digestible but humans, but is a food for cows and horses. The correct answer is cellulose, k -check. Last question for this round. The first and best known cryptocurrency was created by an anonymous computer programmer, Faye. Bitcoin. It was created by an anonymous computer programmer as Satoshi Nakamoto in 2009. This digital, digital currency is the Bitcoin. The answer is correct. K check. And that ends our second round. And that was it for our second round. And after that round, we have Markle in the lead with 90 points, followed by Rohan with 70, Faith with 60 points, and Mika with 10. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban habang may round, may pag-asa. Up next, the last round to contend with, ang ating ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back na sa napaka-exciting na K-Check. Points recap, Markle with 90, Rohan with 70, Faith with 60, Mika with 10. And it's now time for the ultimate pagalingan round. So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa round na to, ang mga panel of experts ang magbibigay ng mga katanungan. Contestants, remember to wait to be acknowledged by me before you give your answer para hindi naman sayang ang inyong mga sagot. Correct answers are worth 30 points each. There are made 15 point deduction for wrong answers. So, let's begin. Prof. Neil, let's kick off the ultimate pagalingan round. Geography. Which country do cities of Georgetown, Ipo, and Kuching belong to? A. Cambodia. Rohan. India. Malay, B. Malaysia, C. Singapore, 
di Thailand e Vietnam. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Malaysia. Prof. Marla. Which scientist proposed the theory of heliocentrism, stating that the Earth revolves around the Sun? Markle. Johannes Kepler. The answer is wrong. Rohan Copernicus. Let me read the choices. A. Galileo Galilei. B. Nicholas Copernicus. C. Edwin Hubble. D. Tycho Brahe. E. Isaac Newton. The, the correct answer is B. Nicholas Copernicus. K. Check. Prof. Talk. On modern art movement, which American artist is best known for his innovation of the mobile suspended sheet metal and wire assembly, assemblies that are activated in space by, by air currents? A. Alexander Calder B. Edward Hopper C. Jackson Pollock D. Thomas Wilson E. James Whistler The correct answer is letter A, Alexander Calder. Salamat, Professor Talk. Back to Prof. Neil. Sa kasaysayang Pilipino, sino ang pangulo ng bansa ang humarap sa occult mutiny na pinamunuan ni Antonio Sani Trillanes? Marco. President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Bibigay ko muna yung mga options. A. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. B. Corazon Aquino. C. Benigno Aquino III. B. Joseph Estrada, E. Fidel Ramos. Ang tamang sagot ay A. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, K. Check. Prof. Marla. When was the Human Genome Project completed? A. 1992, B. 2000, C. 2003, D. 2010, E. 2015. The correct answer is C, 2003. In arts and design, this principle of design occurs when grouped units of a characteristic's consistency have some direction or pattern. A, movement. B, rhythm. C, repetition. D, balance. E, texture. Three. C, repetition. Uh, incorrect. Rohan. Rhythm. Correct answer is B. Rhythm. So Rohan is back in the lead, followed by Markle with 105 points. Rohan with 115. Sino ang pangulo ng Estados Unidos o United States ang bumisita sa Pilipinas sa panahon ni Pangulong Gloria Macapagal Arroyo bilang pasasalamat sa bansa sa paglahok nito sa gera ng mga Amerikano sa Iraq na nagsimula noong 2003. Rohan Bush. Mali. These are the following choices. A. George H. W. Bush. B. George W. Bush. C. Bill Clinton. D. Barack Obama. E. Ronald Reagan. Hindi ko kinonsider yung sagot ni Rohan kasi may dalawang Bush. So, mag-ama naging presidente ng Estados Unidos. Yung anak yung tamang sagot. So, ang tamang sagot ay letter B, George W. Bush. Talk Marla. In Mendel's experiments, what is the term for the allele that is not expressed in the presence? Rohan, recessive. I'll read the choices. A, homozygous. B, recessive. C, codominant. D, phenotype. E, heterozygous. The correct answer is B, recessive. K, check. So, Rohan is back in the lead. Prof. This visual phenomenon is an act of changing place 
position and or orientation. It can be illustrated by showing starting and stopping points, successive and or blurring images. A. Animation B. Rhythm C. Pattern D. Movement or Motion and E. Tessellation Marco D. Movement or Motion The correct answer is D. Movement or Motion. K. Check And Marco is back in the lead but only by 5 points. So this is the determining round. Let's go, Prof. Neil. General information. Sa anong kagawaran bahagi ang TESDA of Technical Education and Skills Development Authority? A. Commission on Higher Education. A. A. Commission on Higher Education. Mali. B. Department of Education. C. Department of Trade and Industry. Rohan, Department of Trade and Industry. Mali. D. Department of Labor and Employment. E. National Nita. Economic and Development Authority. Um, letter D. Department of Labor and Employment. Tamang sagot ay letter D. Department of Labor and Employment or DOLE, KJ. Thank you very much, Prof. Marla. What is the primary function of enzymes in biochemical reaction? A. Catalyze. The choices were initiate reactions, B. Speed up reactions, C. Terminate reactions, D. Reverse reactions, E. Stabilize reaction intermediates. I'll accept B. Speed up or catalyze reactions. K. Okay, check. We have 115 points. For Rohan, Markle with 135, Faith with 60, Mika with 40. Malalaman na natin talaga kung sino ang magiging winner for today. Okay. It is the simplest and most minimal of the visual elements used in art and design architecture. It is considered as the prime generator or the beginning of all form can be used to determine and define location in space. A. Line. B. Shape. Pay. Point. Uh, let me finish the... Uh, choices C point D form E volume the correct answer is C point uh, K check and that's it finally for our K check ultimate pagalingan round congratulations to Marco our K check daily winner with a final score of 135 points we'll see Marco again next week for our semi-finals at maraming salamat ulit kay Rohan kay Faith at saka kay Mika for joining and of course maraming salamat din sa ating mga suking members ng panel of experts Professor Neil, Professor Marla and Professor To. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for the semi-finals here on KCheck.